So it is Monday, May 29th. It is Memorial Day. It is the week of Summer Smash, which means I'm gonna try and mitigate how much energy I'm really putting out because Summer Smash is going to be insane. I'm about to make some breakfast, a little bit of French toast because air fry some bacon, and then just have a nice solid day. So that's where we're at. French toast is just so easy and so delicious. Who doesn't love French toast? Eggs, bread, a little bit of topping, and you're good. Like you can't even say that don't look good. Fire. And you know I'm gonna throw in some collagen for my coffee too. A little hand blender, so clutch. It mixes so well in there. Yeah, buddy. That's like 16 grams of protein right there. I love how I just said Summer Smash, like everybody knows what Summer Smash is, but it's essentially like a giant party that we throw at first form for everybody that's involved with the fam. So that's why this weekend's gonna be pretty insane. A bunch of different workouts, some parties, concert, pretty much like a festival on Saturday night for the actual Summer Smash event. And it's really just a great time. And man, this breakfast is absolutely slapping. Look at that, amazing. Food is fuel, baby. Let's go say what's up to the homies before getting this haircut. What's up, sir? What's up? How's it going, man? Going well, how are you? Chilling. Yeah, we got, we got this cooking now. Memorial Day. I didn't know you were going to be on the <laughs> vlog today. You had no idea. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Quick stop in. Now we're about to go get a little trim up, get shaped up, get the beard right, get the hair right. Let's go. Definitely taking the bike to get my hair cut. Let's get it. I know I have a bagger, but man, my bike is sick. You can't tell me differently. Zeus is a badass. Yeah, new seat, new passenger seat on it. Fire. Yes, sir. I'm well. How are you? This is my man. This is my man. Here, let me get that little schmoop schmop. About to hit a little taper here. You see that? You see that? Trim up the beer, get it shaked up. You know, all the good things. Get it cleaned up man's, for the weekend. Man's a wizard with it. A wizard. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Smooth. <laughs> cleaned up. We're good. We're good to go. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> next, next up, what we got? Back to the pool. And we've made it back now. Put together some content, chill, and we're about to pool with the homies. Creating some programs, stuff, hanging out, chilling. It's just group, group things, just kicking it. Like you know it's already that. Cleveland's colder. Closing up at the pool. Beautiful day. Bro. All right, truth be told, I got some asshole birds outside my apartment. And they be attacking me every time I walk past. Because I think they have a bird nesting in the nest. But this dude, he be coming after me, bro. So what's up? So what's up, dog? Oh yeah, he's getting pissed. Yeah, there he is, you see him? There he is. <laughs> got you gotta understand that energy begets energy. So we were just out there at the pool. It's feeling a pretty lazy, lackadaisical day. Still haven't gotten a lift. I'm gonna eat this. We got some sirloin steak from Flex Pro. We got sweet potato popping up in there from Flex Pro. Delicious, by the way. Seriously insane. Go Stacy. Save 20% my first order. Facts. I gotta get some movement in. It, just, it has to happen. It has to happen. The steak is fire. The sweet potatoes, fire. Let me pray it up. Thank you God for this food we're about to receive. This is what says nourishment to our bodies. Keep us safe, healthy, happy, and whole. Thank you for continuing to watch over us, our family and friends. Lord, thank you for this beautiful Memorial Day. Thank you for your inspiration, your divine guidance, your continued grace and mercy, Lord. You're so good. God, you're so good. And we appreciate you for all that you do. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Probably makes the food taste better. It is still a Monday, meaning 
that there is still work to be done. Some EAAs just to keep me in an anabolic state while I'm out here for this workout. You put that work in. You gotta follow through on what you said you would do. Cheers. Blood orange, essential amino acids, so fire. A little bit of caffeine, not like a pre-workout, but a little bit of caffeine. And uh, essential amino acid blend just to keep keep your body anabolic. We have arrived, we're out here self-made. Got to get this workout in, and we're in. Beautiful facility. But for real, it is Memorial Day, so a moment of silence to honor those who have fallen for freedoms that we enjoy here in the United States of America. I need to do a little bit of stretching and recovery first, see if I can get my hips aligned a little better. They've been kind of out of whack lately, so try some banded exercises to get some hip correction and then warm up and get after it. So honestly, I had to start out with some hip alignment exercises. Um, I'm no stranger to having my hips misaligned. My hip on my right side was elevated, so you see I'm pressing my right foot into the wall and pressing my left knee against my hand to create some resistance. And this is just allowing my hips to sort of begin to reset to normal position. Obviously, we want to have that alignment so I don't have any back problems or, you know, pain or imbalances throughout my workout. And then I'm jumping into butterfly stretch. This is going to open up my hips, my inner quad, my inner uh, thighs, if you will. And then rolling back into some happy baby. Again, just trying to get my body back right. Um, it's important to get that stretch going in in the beginning of exercise you know and then going to this rollover stretch where my knees are you know next to my head this is something again to help stretch out my back stretch out my hips and then after that you know giving a little hip bridge to double check my hip alignment you know that really resets or I guess establishes where your hips are so I'm checking my hip bones there and then getting over into some pigeon stretch kind of working those open on both sides this is one of my favorite stretches. It opens up my glutes, opens up the lower back and my hips. And honestly, it's been a pretty good test for my knee as well, just to see if it's ready, if it's mobile, if it's still good. Jumping in through a shoulder stretch to open up the shoulders because I'm getting ready for a full body workout regardless. And then doing a supported sumo stretch to really open up my hips. Again, really warming up my body here and getting set for this because I didn't want any you know, nagging injuries or small things to turn into something that was exacerbated so we did not want that to happen so we're getting into this workout and honestly it's a full body workout i was hitting opposing muscle groups throughout like a push a pull a push a pull starting off with some goblet squats and some rdls you know hitting the legs first it was a deload week and i needed it because i went crazy heavy the week before and it absolutely destroyed me uh, when i wasn't paying attention to my nutrition so Again, hitting opposing muscle groups back and forth in this deload week, so using lighter weights and just focusing on tempo. My body was stressed, so I needed it to be not stressed as we're heading into Summer Smash. So goblet squats to RDLs, then dumbbell bench press, obviously getting a push again into some pull-ups. You know, these are, again, not extremely heavily weighted this week. I wanted to just feel that mind-muscle connection, get my body right. And then I'm hitting shoulder press, again, a push movement, and then a seated low row. And again, push, pull, push, pull is how we're operating this one. And then ending with some step ups, making sure that I'm getting what I feel is a little bit of cardio, but also some leg strength, obviously activating through the glutes, through the quads, probably one of my favorite leg exercises. And then ending up with some Russian twists, closing out with some core. You know, I'd, if you're not going to do heavy cardio at the end of a workout, I think you should do core. It's just, it, why not? You know, you got to close out, cash that check. You know what I'm saying? If you're not going to do core, cardio, make sure you're hitting some abs. And if you're not hitting abs, get some cardio in. And then I had to finish up by getting my steps in for the rest of the day, getting to that 10K mark. You know, it's important. Your body needs to move. Your body was made to move. So getting that movement in really helps you burn fat, really helps with digestion and, and your overall energy. And honestly, it's a step goal. And if you balk at that, then, you know, it's kind of like, dude, why are you being such a little bitch? You know what I mean? It's like, just get some steps in. So I always like that as a little challenge for myself. And then, you know, I had to get some foam rolling in. I actually thought about walking away, you know, after, <laughs> pun intended, un unintended. Um, I thought about walking away after I was finished with my walk. And then 
I was like, let's do some foam rolling because that was a pretty high volume day. So I wanted to flush my body and preemptively relieve some soreness throughout my body. You know, and that's not something that's talked about often in the fitness industry is like, yo, stretch and foam roll. And I want you guys to understand that like it is super crucial and super critical to do so and helps you relieve some soreness, relieve some muscle tension and keep you healthy, right? It's extremely important. So foam rolling is key. And then I'm forever ending my workouts with a first form post-workout shake to rebuild my muscles and replenish my energy stores. High quality protein, quick digesting carbs, gets the body back right. Trust me, if I did not use this, I would be much more sore. Uh, my body would retain more fat and I would not be building as much lean muscle. So it's super crucial. As always, the links to that are in the description of this video. I highly recommend you check that out. It will change your results. It will change your workout life. It will change your life. And then after I finish my post-workout shake, heading home on Zeus, that is my Indian Springfield Dark Horse, an absolutely beautiful bike and such a joy to ride. So putting him in the garage for the night because that is where he rests my iron horse, Zeus. And that'll do it for the day. Straight up after I got back from that workout, had some dinner and then showered and went straight to bed. I was gassed after that one, making some protein coffee. You know the vibes. Just getting some protein in, getting some caffeine, and getting this day ready. Getting braids today, so we'll be getting rid of the top knot here for a moment. Um, getting braided up because heading off to Summer Smash and just wanna look crispy, look good when I'm there. Right now, gonna be journaling, uh, reading, doing my morning things, and then getting some info over to my clients, encouraging them to do the same. The beautiful thing about online training is that I'm able to have a significant impact on many people's lives in a shorter amount of time than in-person training. We're getting incredible results. I have a client here who started with me, heavier dude, younger dude, had a good frame, but now we've been on a shred program and he looks absolutely phenomenal. It's, it's really awesome to see. And I just, I love the life change that people get, not just physically, but mentally. And, what, what, their, what their bodies are capable of and what their minds become capable of. And your confidence grows and I love it. Time to take my walk. Working from home is great, but sometimes it can be really easy to get locked inside, lock yourself inside and not really get enough movement in. So I always intentionally take some walks, help me clear my mind, help me produce some better thoughts. And honestly, Help me get those steps in that movement, that fat burning cardio, it's super big help. So don't sleep on that. And we're back. Gotta get ready for this hair braided one. All right, about to throw the helmet on and get ready. Get these braids. Did not take the bike, didn't want to get braids and then immediately put a helmet on. So here we are. Let's get them. mid -berry process. Finalizing them. The finishing touches. We are back. The braids are back. Let's go. Had to come back and make some lunch. A little breakfast for lunch is where it's at. Yeah. Well, with how this day's playing out, it's looking like a repeat of yesterday. Just gonna hit some EAAs and hit the gym real quick. Cheers. So good. So we made it to self-made. We're in this room today. I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little ring circuit. So we're gonna get after that. That'll be a pretty fun one. I'll make this a follow along too so you guys can get that same work in on the rings if you want. So that's a wrap on that one. I am about to hydrate. I need to shower and get ready for bed because wow, you're gonna enjoy that one when that one comes out. Super fun. Rings, don't, sl don't sleep. Don't sleep on the rings. Don't sleep on the rings. Essential with the with the protein after the workout. The chicken sizzlers. What we have here is a really simple dinner. We have some chicken breast cut up, some Greek yogurt instead of sour cream, and some Mexican blend cheddar. And I roll that up and have a little chicken breast wrap. Taco Tuesday, baby. Easy with it.
flame. Listening to some stuff, uh, dissecting some Neville Goddard techniques. Neville Goddard is a spiritual teacher, a mystic teacher, one of the most influential and one of the most powerful for me personally because he draws from scripture. And uh, he was inspired a lot, like Wayne Dyer and myself. <laughs> Just getting mentally right this morning as I get physically right because this. Fire. Now, kind of getting the YouTube video ready from yesterday. That ring circuit. Putting together the thumbnail. I do simple stuff, guys. No, I make my own thumbnails. I'll be on Canva. It is what it is. Super useful tool. Now, I don't got much time, but I have a meeting at noon. It's like 11 15 ish right now. Just trying to get a little walk in, get some steps in, get outside, because I've just been inside all day. Not necessarily an issue, but again, Gotta get out and get active and get some sunshine. I'm in Florida for God's sakes. Walk was good, meeting was good. It's a rest day, so, and also a prep day. But I'm gonna go to get a little manicure and pedicure, a little self love before heading out, packing up, and heading out to Summer Smash. Because I'll probably also do a little bit of foam rolling tonight, too, because my body is a little bit sore. So, TLC day. I'm gonna throw off a little self care, gentlemen. Oh. Well, I picked up some sushi that fell apart as I was on my way back home. So we're gonna eat this, get my luggage, get packed up, and then I still have some steps to get in tonight. Get my steps in, cold plunge, call it a day. Typically, I would pack all my supplements and this, that, and the other. But with this trip being to first form, I'm not gonna pack that because we're probably gonna be getting some of the new summer flavors and the essentials while we're there. So not even gonna bother with that. Just have a few more things, you know, computer stuff, camera things to pack up. But other than that, we're good. I feel pretty, pretty solid with everything that I've done. Um, so yeah, gonna get my walk in, hit the plunge, take a shower, and then it is a wrap. Summer Smash is about to be a vibe. Getting the remainder of these steps in, even though it is nighttime. It's just walking, it's just a little bit of extra activity. Nothing crazy, it feels good. <laughs> now that we got the walk in, it's time for a good old fashioned cold plunge. This is probably the second latest that I've plunged, but we will plunge nonetheless. The water is currently 45 degrees and we're gonna be in here for five minutes. Quick five. Quick five. Now that I've gotten sufficiently cold, I'm gonna let my body get back up to temperature, hit a shower, and then hit the bed. Heading to St. Louis tomorrow for Summer Smash. Cannot wait to see the fam. Cannot wait to see everybody. Live it up, party, get some workouts in, get some training in, and make some great memories because it's always a vibe. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and share some feedback in the comments section. Do not miss the Summer Smash vlog. Be on the lookout for that. But I'm gonna get warm, hit the shower, hit the bed, get ready for tomorrow because it's gonna be a great trip. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Until then, ride the wave.